expectations for him when he is able to, to get back? That's a kind of a tough spot to be in, it would seem like. Yeah, it's going to be definitely tough. Um, but I know how mentally strong and tough he is. So um, he's going to come back and just, if he's not physically 100%, he's going to mentally be 100% and give everything he's got to us. And that and that's really all that matters, and that could take you a long way. So um, I know he's been working his tail off, and he's going to continue to do that. Uh, to get himself ready to go and help the team because he's not going to want to play if he's not going to help the team. So uh, I think he'll be all right. Are you hopeful he'll be back by Big Ten tournament? Just because I hear it. Yeah, yeah, I really hope so. Uh, I, even before that, I mean, I want him back as soon as possible just just for his benefit. I mean, this is last year, and um, to go down in the middle of the season, it's got to be really tough. So the sooner he can get back and just get back on the floor with us, uh, the better it'll be. But definitely for you know the tournament stuff because that's when you want to be healthy and playing. In addition. For it being good for him being a senior, what about for the team giving you guys another threat out there? Because right now the starters are carrying the bulk of yeah. the Yeah, yeah, yeah. We could use a little more depth. I mean, anytime we've been we've been fortunate enough uh, to avoid heavy foul trouble. I think. I mean, or you know, sprained ankle in the game. You know, whatever. So um, the more guys we have out there who are who are playing and playing well, the better. And we we've been able to weather the storm here the past few weeks without them, but. You know, we'd like to get him back as soon as possible because he's a big part of our team. The past few games, you guys haven't had a lot of bench points. Um, you know, are you concerned about it? I mean, obviously you're still winning, mm -hmm. but is it something that you guys are focused on? Yeah, we got we got to get production out of our bench. You know, it doesn't, and just because they have zero points doesn't mean they're not producing. So um, they got to help us in any way they can. You know, offensively, defensively, on the boards. Uh, the more we can get, just a spark. Uh, the more minutes rest we could get, you know, the better it'll be in the long run. But, you know, we're winning games. They're playing well. They're doing their part. You know, starters are doing their part too. So, right now we're okay. But definitely we want to get better going into tournament time when it's one and done and anything can happen. Josh, you guys protect the whole goal game in the Big Ten. Minnesota takes it away as well as anybody. I don't know if you've seen them much this year, but yeah. what's the key to not letting them get up into you, get the ball loose, and get going? Just doing what we're doing, you know, making the right play, using pass fakes, ball fakes, all the fundamentals we've, we've learned under Coach Ryan and, and what he expects. Um, and we, we've seen it before, you know, we, we played them um, three times last year. So we, you know, we've seen it, but uh, we're definitely going to have to work out of practice the next few days just to uh, get a level of, com level of comfort there because we, have, we haven't seen it this year uh, to the level of extent that they're going to they're gonna bring it at us. But uh, we just got to be mental, mentally ready for it, and I think we will. We will be. Josh, I'm sure it does come back. Less, fewer minutes for Johnson. Are there any concerns maybe about um, his aggressiveness or competitiveness or confidence? No, 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 no. Uh, Bronson's, uh, he just needed, he just needed a little confidence that he could do it, you know, in, uh, in big minutes and small minutes, whatever. So, he, you know, who knows what's going to happen? I mean, everyone's going to, everyone's going to play. No, no matter how many minutes you're playing, you got to, you got to give us something. So, if you're playing five minutes or, f or 40 minutes, you got to go out there and get it, give it everything you got, try to produce for the team. And, and that's what both of them are going to do. Josh, you're on the verge of breaking, you know, the record for most minutes. D does it feel like you've played as many minutes as you have <laughs> over the course of your career here? Uh, right now it does. I'm a little sore today. <laughs> a little sore today, but um, I don't know. It, it's 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 cool. It's definitely something that you don't expect coming in, but something that I said before. It's something that you look back on your career's over and be pretty proud of. But um, yeah, I feel. I'm just watching the game for my freshman year. Um, feel a little older now than I did when I was 18, 19 years old. <laughs> also kind of creeping up on a, on a thousand points. I mean, what would that, what would that number mean to you, when you if and when you get there? Right now, not much. Um, it's just just a number. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. Uh, but again, you know, when my career is over, uh, it's definitely a good, comp good company to be in. You know, not many guys have the privilege to, to play as many minutes, to uh, score as much points. So. It's, it'll be cool when it's all said and done, but uh, championships and making deep run tournaments, that, that's, what, that's what it's really all about.